My fans, this fight has happened two times prior, with each one of these fighters winning one of the bouts. This is the grudge match. This bout is for the FCFF Flyweight Championship. First for the challenger, fighting out of the red corner. Welcome, please, the Tsunami! Since he can start going to work. So I'm, I'm getting uh, dirty looks from a, a former, <laughs> a former fighter over here giving me the figure. <laughs> it's distracting me. <laughs> Alex still working to get postured up so he can start striking there. He just landed a couple. Brian. Brian's doing a good job of not getting hit, but he needs to get out of there. Nice short strikes. Punching from bottom is not the way out, gentlemen. That's... That cage walk here is starting to do that. It would be a half guard. Yeah, a half guard. A little scramble, caught his half guard. I'm confused as to who's the striker and who's the wrestler here. The striker picked him up, dropped him on his head, and is now holding him down. <laughs> Passing his guard and punching well, him. Alex Corrales isn't a bad wrestler himself, either. Well, maybe, maybe they got the, the descriptions flopped on the card. <laughs> no, it says striker, but it, you know, it's submission academy, so. Right to his back. Oh. Oh, vicious oh, strikes. Yeah, those were not nice. Those were mean. Trying to get his hips up off the ground was his, his, his ride. A reversal by Brian Tsutsumi. A lot of heart there by the Tsunami. The survivor got up top. Here, and he's doing that right. some, some punishment of his own. Return to the favor, return to the favor. Head kick. Do not stop head kicks with your chin, boys and girls. Block the knee. <laughs> Alex stuffing the takedown attempt. Under hook. Under hook. There we go. Good first round. I think Alex probably round. edged That's that one even. out. Where's your Here we belt? Go, round number two. <laughs> so I'm gonna show my 
age here a little bit, but years ago I fought on I fought here with Ed Herman, and uh, both Chris Lieben fought on that card too. Yeah. And Chris and Eddie won their fights. That uh, was one of the later fights. One of the perks of being a heavyweight, you get a fight later in the night. Right. So coming back and Ed Herman's walking by me and goes. If you lose and we don't get a clean sweep, you can't train at the gym anymore. And I'm, by the way, I'm, I'm behind the curtain about ready to walk out and get in the cage. So. <laughs> no pressure. No, no pressure. Didn't, didn't, didn't add anything to those butterflies I was already feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so you won, right? Yeah, I won. <laughs> <laughs> I actually finished my guy, uh, Eddie, if you're out there listening. <laughs> Very good punch into a single leg. Yeah. I like Brian trying to stuff the head to uh, set the triangle up, but Speedy was not having any of that. I think he just lies to guys and says he's a striker because he's done a lot of really excellent wrestling yeah, in jiu jitsu. Yeah, I told you, he's, he's not a bad little wrestler. to be in, in closed guard up against yeah, the cage that's, like that. I, you know, I, it's, gonna, it's gonna give Alex all the opportunity he needs to get some posture and start raining down punches. That's why, well, that's why I preach, you don't use guard on the fence. It doesn't work. You, got, if you're gonna, you gotta get your head off the fence out in the middle. Yeah, there's just, just not a lot happening. Hanging out in guard is always a bad idea. Nice Ooh. strike. That was a good solid right. Good punch. Good top side punch. Mine's holding his head. He, yeah, no, he doesn't have his arm trapped. Just defending the, the mount from the crossbody. Nice bump and roll. Nice for 30 seconds. Just like last round. He was getting beat up from a good minute or so, last 30 seconds, he reverses him and beats the other guy up. Not sure that's going to be enough to steal the round, though. Maybe. I don't think we need to continue the judge conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Some of that might win him a round, though. Try and finish the round on top. Yeah. You know, it's real easy for a guy to not get beat up and steal that round last 30 seconds or so by getting on top and looking like he's really doing damage. There we go, round number three. Is it just me? I, 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 I see Speedy put that body kick in there because he's floating those elbows up. Yeah. Just. <laughs> <laughs> nice lever shot. That would. Oh, nice little overhook. Overhand. This is a theory I have about boxing, too, about like the little, really little guys. I don't think they're big enough to knock, you, knock each other out with the hands. I don't think that they have enough body weight behind it to really hurt each other, especially if the guys both, both have good chins. Yeah. I know that we can, uh, you know, MMA fighters can do it, kickboxers can do it, but they put the foot upside the head. But yeah. I guess, you know. It looked cool, I don't know how much damage it did, but... It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it sure shows how dominant you are. I think it burns a lot of energy, is yeah. my, my thought. It's a bad use of your gas tank. But, yeah. I don't know, maybe 125, you don't have to manage the gas tank as much. Well, it, it's properly land in those throws, they can actually snap arms. Yeah. Alex looked like he was just fine going through it. This right here is one of my favorite things to do to guys. Get on the head, hang on them. Just, Make them carry your weight. Just, yeah. 
you know, little uppercuts, little knees, nothing dominant, you know, nothing, nothing that's gonna finish the fight. But they're not, no, nobody's gonna get me off of them. They're not, the ref's not gonna make me stop. And then, you know, I hold on, I hold on to your head all night long. I'm not choking. I'm punching you. Know, and it's a, yeah, it's like you said, it's a good spot to kind of pick your punches and wear on a guy. Just grind them down. Second, third round, his hand, he's so tired, he can't stand up to you. Uh, well, some sort there's, of uh, there's, some, there's some cool jewelry going on right now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that was about. Got our speedy had to blow his nose. Yeah, that was weird. Hey, it happens. If nothing else, you know, it definitely wins you around 10-9. It's, it's 30 seconds left. It's as good as taking a guy down. You're controlling him. Right. Because I can't, I had all those Griffin wrestling coaches and Randy and Matt all those early years on, and I like hanging on the guy's head and torturing him. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Not like they would know anything about Griffin wrestling. No. Nah. Speedy trying to make a comeback here. <laughs> and in round three, we'll head to the championship round. It also gets in the guy's head when you hang on his head. I used to talk to him. Well, it's, just, it's tiring, man. I mean, have somebody's body weight on your neck while you're trying to get up and taking shots all at the same time. It's frustrating. It's Here we go, round number four. And if you've ever seen Randy fight, you know he loves to hang on guys and tie them out, tie their shoulders out. Wow, this is round four. This guy's so busy for round four. Yeah. I wonder if Speedy's going to show some of that striking that he advertised in the uh, flyer here. Well, it could be what pulls him ahead in this fight. I mean, that was a good hook. He just needs to start tying more of these together. Oh, oh. Oh, nice throw to Zone. Nice throw. Good way to keep a guy off you and go back to work. I said, Brian's striking's not bad. It just reminds me of, like, he's really stiff. Does it look like karate to him? Like, he's not relaxed with it. The tsunami? Yeah. Yeah, he seems a little, a little more tense. One minute gone by here, round four. That was a nice shot Another, there. Yep, yeah, yeah. Nice straight left. Crowd trying to give the, their buddy a little bit of energy. Ooh. Nice short combination. Yeah, I have to say, in the striking, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing Brian throw one punch, or you yeah, know, throw, throw one punch, and then, you know, well, they're not big combos, they're, you know, they're two or three punch combos that he moves. Not every time. They both seem to just be happy to throw the one kick and not set it up and not move afterwards, which I don't know why the other one's not making them pay for them. I think it might be due to the fact they're a little tired. <laughs> I think around round one they weren't making each other pay for it. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, nice little nice body, shot. body shot. Had that good bass drum thump to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was sunk in deep. Tsunami trying to take back the control with pressure, moving forward. I, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, all you young fighters, do not do not underestimate the jab. It does not, it doesn't knock people out, but it frustrates them and it opens up everything else. Right, if you think you've jabbed enough, jab again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a roll of pink duct tape just for guys who think they're not going to throw a jab. Like take the other hand to the head and make them jab the whole round. The, the baby pink duct tape seems to instill it in my fighters that they need a jab. Speedy here trying for a takedown. Oh, unsuccessful. And round number four. One more round.
Like it's really interesting to see uh, if these guys want to keep it more on the feet or if someone's going to go for that takedown. Looks like Alex is, is definitely trying to pick the, the striking and then get the takedown at the end to solidify the rounds. He's, he's a good counter striker. I think he sets it up with you know, nice short little combos. Well, I just see his short little combos end with a nice kick there. Yeah, I mean, just more punches too. I mean, follow it up with something different. Kick, a knee, another strike. There's a reason your coach makes you throw those five punch combos, turn and throw it right again. You know, I mean, that's yeah. exactly that's, that's how it should work. Another, another nice left shot. No, oh, nice knee. Stopped it, kneed him in the face for his trouble. Uh, Alex is starting to take over. The champ is taking over, showing why he's the champ. Yeah, he seems to have a little more gas in the tank right now, and he's starting to put more pressure on. I think on. I see a, a super, what is this, a super fly? No, a flyweight, not a super flyweight. A flyweight tire, that's... Halfway through round five, halfway. Well, on the front show, on that little front show. Once again, hanging, he's returning that favor, hanging on his head, tired him out. Yeah. He needs to get off of his knees if he really wants to make him feel his weight. <laughs> but he's going to take his back. That works, too. One minute. One minute. I wonder if he would have finish in the fifth. Right. He's a rear naked. He's all sweaty. Got blood everywhere. It should slide in. He's in a fight in in position. He oh. took With the rear naked choke in round five for the W. Great set up, fight. Set up with good cardio and good striking. Referee Kelly Whitlock has called a stop to this bout at two minutes, 14 seconds of round number five. For your winner by tap out is still SCFF flyweight champion. Have a good night.